Hey, all NFT family, Solana, Ethereum, Algorand, all you NFT creators, buyers, spires, welcome. So this is a little bit different. This is, uh, this is going to be a presentation video on artistic merit. How far can you go? How far should you go? Do you plagiarize? Do you copy? Is it theft? Flattery? Is it a mistake? Um, do you not know any better? Or do you even have permission to use uh, different features um, that have been created by someone else? So I'm referring to the Pixel guys, they admitted using other people's art in their work. Um, I know a lot of artists do use other people's art in their work. It's a fact. It's not just on NFTs. It's just, just part of the art world, uh, how creatives think. There's some references here. These are some of the Solana sites where the traits are of some of the pixel guys. So put out an NFT art question of the day. Is your work influenced by another artist, person, place, or thing? And most people, 71% said yes. 30% said no. So imitation is the biggest form of flattery. Uh, sometimes if someone tries to look like you, <laughs> you kind of get scared uh, uh, you know, about that in real life. But I don't know. So that, that's what I'm here for. I'm trying to get some feedback. I would love some comments and discussion um, in the video comments below. But I'm going to do my best. I've been looking at this, studying it, kind of going back and forth. And it's just a lot of layers. And there's also a lot of information I don't know. Like I'm not in the room with, with the Pixel guys. So, so what happened? So there's a big statement out on Twitter, also on Discord. And Pixel guy came out and apologized, failed on being transparent, which, hey, admitting you're wrong is, is great, right? That's, that's something that uh, it's hard for a lot of people to do. Um, they were on the Solana platform, influenced by a lot of their community and their art, and this, and move the punk, crypto punks over, over to Algorand, right? So that's kind of, kind of what you got there. So why have we used designs from other blockchains? Um, you know, the team team talks, move stuff here. I don't know, but it looks like looking at the Solana platform, a lot of people use different things, but they came out on their website and they actually said they're, they, they use other people's art. Uh, their pixels are made 32 by 32, which is, which is hard to do, hard to change things. Uh, said it's not an excuse. Um, you know, they don't want to hide anything. They say they fucked up. They're sticking to the project. Their lessons learned. They have pixel girls coming out and, you know, they really want to improve the community. So, I mean, maybe this could be a big eye-opening, good lesson for the whole community, right? So full disclosure, I have Pixel guys and I kind of looked at them and um, they do have the mining hat, which I used to think it was a hard hat. Um, one of them has VR glasses as well. Um, and I think there's a vape here. I'm not sure there's no smoke that you see over here. Um, but someone guy said about these traits, well, imagine if half these traits are traced back to some SNES game, which probably are, I mean, probably influence. But here's some cats that also have my similar traits. But these traits are actually found on the monkey business, right? So a lot of the monkey business traits are, are here and they're used on multiple, multiple projects. So the projects or the main asset is different but the trait is the same so is that good is that bad i mean we're supposed to be creative so should we try to create a new pirate hat for instance um maybe make the hat gold with the black trim i i don't know i don't know but you can see the cat and then you can also see the duck and then obviously there's also <laughs> monkeys that have the same um, asset as well. So, um, so someone on, on Twitter asked, um, or the skins and other aspects of the outfits copied and the guys themselves, 
pixel guy came and said, no, just some of the traits. So some of the traits, not all the trait, mostly hats are inspired from Solana blockchain projects, as we know, obviously, glasses as, as well. So this I found very interesting. I was going to kind of take you through the Twitter feed, which you can do yourself. And then there's a Discord. There's a lot of back and forth. This is an update on the Discord that I found this morning and Kraken um, from, from Rand Gallery. Um, just kind of brought some of these to the attention. He's like, well, these are kind of one-on-one copies of art, which um, certainly are. The, the traits are definitely, so I agree with the traits, um, not necessarily with the pixel guy itself or, or the duck. So Jabbar um, is the one that I believe created these traits. So Kraken's asking him what his thoughts are. And, and Jabbar said, there's a book still with pride. You should read it. And basically they kind of kind of su summarize that um he just really wants to help help people so he's got no issues with the traits being used so does that does that make it okay right so but anyway jamar seems to, to 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 be all about community as you see below and and kind of wants um you know pixel guys to to continue and i think they might have been kicked off of rand or, or blocked from rand so that's obviously not um decentralized but um you can keep reading it um he's asking to list these guys back and there's his information here on the right if you want to check them out a lot of people on the discord are going to go buy some of his ducks now because they think he's a he's a cool guy so anyway, these are more projects that you can go look at. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, but, you know, I'm kind of thinking how many of these guys have we seen everywhere? So who's got, uh, you know, Darth Vader or Mario, um, you know, whether it's, it's a cat or a, a bison or what have you, these, you know, or, or, or a pigeon. Um, we get influenced by other things. So it's, is it calling, is the pot calling the kettle black there? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, in my videos, I use uh, Canva. <laughs> I was uh, guided to Canva and I make my uh, thumbnails on Canva. I, that's not my art. That's not, uh, you know, but I'm using it from someone else. It's different. I'm using it differently the way someone else is using it and even sort of created NFT Art Galaxy's logo. So, I mean, there's a lot of creative merit. So, this is kind of some of the things that was going through my head. You know, everyone is influenced by others. At least most people are. If it was outright theft, exact copy, you know, I think that's wrong. But if there's permission, well, then maybe there's a collab. Now, there's other things with, with 3D art. There's modelers that make models that 3D artists put in their art. Is that theft? if they have permission to use those, those models and they change those models and they make their art with them. So, I mean, these are a lot of things that you need to ponder, but I see all the time artists being influenced by others. You know, I'm not going to give specific examples, but you know, all smaller projects and some bigger projects want to collab with Guana. You know, one person did it maybe three, four weeks ago. And then there was a second collab, a third collab, a fourth collab, fifth collab. Obviously, their art is not a Gowana, but it's influence. And that's just, just what I'm, I'm trying to get at. So, you know, I was thinking, you know, should I be mad at every basketball-themed NFT I can find? I mean, or is a basketball a basketball? Or is it change? So, I mean, I don't know. But I'm thinking maybe the trait should have been more original. You know, maybe change the color of the hat or whatever, you know, is, 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 is the lesson learned. I, I don't know. I mean, this space is to me is about innovation, creativity. So I think we all need to try harder to outcreate one another. You know, with pixels, 32 by 32 space, well, it's it's more difficult to create new traits. But why should it be? I mean, we just need to try. So I do believe in second chances. I think we're all in this together. So only only time will tell, right? Will the apology be accepted? I don't know. Right. It's it's the market will tell. And and so far, um, you know, we seem to be in in an OK place. So we'll see. So I'm just going to jump right into Twitter. Here's here's my question. 
Um, again, the, the, the results seem to be the same, but you can kind of see here, you know, create crypto weakness, super mids crypto night was the idea that that algorithm is flawless, right? Important is how much it's affected. No one creates good art in a vacuum. Um, in the camp of both. So, I mean, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's just very, very interesting. Um, here's, here's the discord. Um, you know, here's all, all the conversation. I'm not going to read it, but you can go in there. I highly recommend going in there and checking it out. Um, you know, obviously people who have the asset, have the NFT are, are going to be more, you know, positive, but, uh, it's, it's, it's very, very interesting. To, to, to see the dynamic unfolding. So here's the cats again. <laughs> so this is the Twitter, but there's, you know, you can see similar, similar traits and that's Solana feline business. Solana gecko business also has a lot of the hats and I believe it's, it's okay with the artist. Not sure if they ask permission or not. Um, again, I don't know everything, but there's the ducks uh, that we were alluding to droid business you know similar similar hats and such it's the sitting monkeys that we were looking at again see there's visors the angel bunnies bunnies have some similar similar traits the cigarettes the smoking so it's up to you fam up for you all to decide um, you know, I'm kind of, kind of, kind of 50, 50, meaning that I really, really wish, um, that we can learn from this. I think the pixel guys, um, if, if you're a little bit more transparent and say, Hey, I do have permission to make these traits, well, maybe that makes it okay. Um, but let's, let's just, let's just try harder, I guess. Right. Um, all right. Thank you. If you like the video, please comment below. If there's other videos you'd like me to make, let me know. Subscribe, share, love you all. And hopefully this was helpful. And let's, let's, just, let's just get stronger. Let's become an even stronger community. Thank you, thank you, thank you.